5 o'clock in the morning here in beautiful Ohio Fish Rescue. The lights are still off, the fish are still sleeping, but we are on our way to Aqualand to see Mr. Greg Whitstock, the pond guy. Okay guys, so Mr. Greg Whitstock, the pond guy, you know, the man who has everything he could possibly want. We know that he does not have a fly river turtle. So what we are doing for him today, he has so graciously given so many things to us, you know, the pond conversion, the, the front koi pond. He donated the, some of the materials for the back koi pond. So we want to go ahead and give him what, what one of our fly river tur turtles and, you know, gratitude saying thank you for what you've done for us, Mr. Whitstock. So we are sending little Titan over here such a cutie to go and live at Aqualand. All right, so not only is Mr. Whitstock giving this Fly River Turtle, we're also bringing him some uh, fish for his Turtletopia enclosure. Uh, among some fish is a uh, pretty rare M Malawi trout. It's got some beautiful coloring on them. Um, we're also bringing him a, a small ye ye yellow devil. He is also getting a parrot cichlid, which is also a color morph. He's a pretty neat one. And uh, a Jack Dempsey. So we're gonna get these guys packed up and then we're gonna hit the road. All right, as you guys can see, we got Greg Winsock's presence all loaded up, ready to go. What's in here again, Josh? That's a beautiful Malawi trout. Right a there. Parrot cichlid. Yep. Yellow Devil All right. and a Jack Dempsey, and, and of course, the Fly River Turtle. Here we go. All right, Josh, here we go. Where are we going again this time? Chicago. Chicago. See, it's like just yesterday we arrived home from New Jersey, and now we're heading to Chicago. It sure feels like it. <laughs> Josh, what the heck's going on out here, man? Riding along, and all of a sudden, I see uh, our zip tie broke on our license plate, and it was hanging on by one little zip strip. So, pulled over on the side of the road. Now I found this steel wire from a, a trucker's tire on the side of the road, and I'm tying it up, and so we can get to a Home Depot or something and find another zip strip or tie wire or something. It's always something, huh? And we're right here on the highway, so we're trying to hurry it up. Alright, so some of you might know this already if you're used to pulling loads and everything like that. But going on a lot of these long road trips, you always have to keep an eye on your trailer. Whether it has a fish tank on it, whether you're pulling fish, whether it's just an empty trailer. You always have to keep an eye on the road, but you know every five minutes take a look in your mirrors look at that trailer make sure everything's going good I can't tell you how many times I've been on a road trip and oh you don't even feel it but there, there's no tire on the actual trailer and it's just back there smoking you got to keep an eye on these things just like that license plate back there I noticed it just, you know, flopping it in the wind. I'm like, oh, that's gonna fly off. So we pulled over. Luckily, we found an easy fix, but always remember, keep an eye on your load. All right, so we made it, Josh. Yes, sir, we did. We are here in Chicago. Let's go all the way to the back because we've got a lot of them in the back. Um, 
you have something to, we should get a bag to float them in, Josh, or? Uh, we can, or we can use a little small flight pen and acclimate them that way. You know what? The, so you, you know what? My only concern with, with this, the water is too deep. Well, he was in a tank. Six foot though. deep. Yeah, but you, you, you have to think. So with uh, these smaller aquatic turtles, once they're bigger, they're fine. Okay. He now has to fight up. This is probably about three foot deep now. Yes. yes. I was worried about him in a two foot deep aquarium with not a lot of fish in here. The, you know, the koi could So I know what we're going to do. Suck on him. We are going to call now. Dr. Eric Johnson. Yeah, he's ready. Uh, top fish vet in, yeah. you know, the country. And yeah. he's had many of these. He's and we're going to yep. actually go through this with him. And Josh, if he says it's too deep, We'll put them in the 18-inch deep Greg's Turtle Topia, or we'll put them in the 18-inch deep trough that we have yeah. over there for the fish fishery system. But while we are here today, yeah. we can observe him and put him in here for at least a couple hours. Can you do that? All right, here we go. <laughs> I'll let you put him in there, Ed, because I want to get it on the video. Oh, okay, the professor, awesome. the professor. So uh, Papua New Guinea, where we went with Heiko Blair, right? Yeah, exactly. Yep. Ed and I went four years ago to where these guys are native in West Papua New Guinea. Now we're seeing them in there with all these Asian turtles. Look at that. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Right on the bottom. Uh, Titan. A man amongst Titans. Or yeah, Titan amongst awesome. the boys. He Boy. is a, a male as well. And I can show you how to sex the turtles if you would like. These are not, these are very, in, these are very expensive turtles. You have to have a CITES permit to have them. Just like you do with Woody. Snapping turtle, but wow! So he's in here right now. They don't need to bask. They're one of the few turtles that doesn't need to bask because that's why they're uh, they just basically are aquatic. fully aquatic, they're just aquatic. like Woody is. Yep. All right, here he is. He's just fine. So now we are going to catch these fish inside a plastic bag to float them and acclimate them on top of the water. There's the new occupants for Greg's Turtletopia. Some new cichlids going in, getting the acclimated to the water temp. Is there a rubber band over there? See Greg using the underwater camera housing there. Can you get that coming out? Buddy, I'm gonna have to show Amy this. She's gonna go absolutely nuts. So, Josh, this is the other area. But this one is colder. That's the only one that's heated. So, you think we should get a turtle? We should get a tank just for him. You think, huh? Until he gets a little that's what I would do if you're wanting to put him on. Oh, on you know what, though? Right. Ed, we can also put him where Woody's at. Put him where Woody is. And, uh, once and, this is, out of and Josh, this is heated water. And look at this little area. This is like perfect for him. Okay. But we wouldn't be able to get the right. content up. 
Like so we were here. talking about putting uh, non salt in there. Salt in there. We wouldn't be because this is connected to all this stuff. So I what we're th what we're thinking about doing, because he's so small right now still, and we don't know, is is actually exchanging Woody and when we put Woody up to Woody's, you know, right the tank, yep. and then putting this guy in here. And the only question is if he needs more salt treatments, we don't want to have to treat the whole pond. Yeah. Well, that's so why right we're going now, to call Dr. Johnson. Right now, he's pretty pretty really healthy. I've got his shell and also yeah. condition. Mm -hmm. um, so I actually took his salt content down to zero. Oh. But but if he ever gets sick, they can get fungus real bad on that. Yeah, like shell. just like the one that you got. That okay. that's when I uh, that's I up the salt. Okay. What type? Of, what percentage do you jump up to? Um, I usually do uh, a tablespoon per ten gallons. Oh, so not that high. Correct. Okay. So we can probably do that. Even the sickles would be okay with that. Yeah. yeah. You you can do right re regular salt for, for that, but the only time I do iodize is when the fungal's bad. Okay. And the iodized. Okay, so Eddie, that's what we're gonna do. Okay. We're gonna move Woody to the 700 gallon aquarium. Yep. And we're gonna move this guy yeah, to perfect. this section just for himself, and yeah. it'll be the Fly River Turtle section. Totally hey. cool. That was uh, oh, that's one of the nicest gifts anybody given me. So I'm glad they. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Rewind. <laughs> no, wait, the filming is right there. He's filming. <laughs> He's got it. Awesome new enclosure today, which you guys will see in another video. But here, Greg hasn't put down his new turtle. No. <laughs> I'm gonna go show him to everybody in the office right now. Yeah. So Titan, I love the name. That's a great. Name. I love the name, and uh, this is Titan's gonna go where Woody is, and Woody's gonna go to his new tank today. That's awesome. And what, what kind of gift is this? You, you, you said something that kind of pulled in my, my heart This strings. is one of the best gifts that I've ever gotten. So it is uh, it is tough to get me gifts. Brian got me this gift last uh, last year, and uh, this is the perfect crowning goal to, for uh, this area. is uh, my first ever, which is saying something, when I've had so many turtles, <laughs> fly river turtle. Thanks, buddy. Well, the, the man who has given so much to Ohio Fish Rescue, this is the least we, we can do. You know, you, you gave us two ponds. You gave us the equipment for the, the last pond. On, it's the least we can do, so thank you. Good relationship. <laughs> Love it. George, I'm going to introduce this to Amy. Josh, what you guys are going to be working on today. So there he is, there's Woody. Woody, the alligator snapping turtle. He is 
who they are building that display for out front. He's a massive snapping turtle, isn't he? Look at him. I can't even explain to you how big he is. My hand is four feet above him right here. And that's how big he is. Four feet above him. His head right there, way bigger than my hand spread apart. If I had my hand all the way down there. Huge. And as you see, they have the water coming through here. You can go up in there with the other turtles. Got a bunch of other turtles. Did you ever get the cutout that I made of you? No, it's, it's still here somewhere. Well, let's get it. That's hilarious. We gotta find that cutout. Josh was talking about that cutout. This is my cutout. Yeah, we did. You know, so. Oh, hey, Ellie. It's Alfacino, but I was Alfacino at the uh, Colleen, and I'm under Esquerda. I saw a photo of Grande de Shaq O'Neill. 250,000 square feet. And we're trying to find a cardboard no. cutout oh, yeah, yeah, of ourselves with Shaquille like O'Neal. <laughs> <laughs> okay. This is, this isn't, yes, this is Pond Travolta. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There you go, buddy. Look at this, you got your silver plate button. Yeah, oh, nice. nice. Yin and yang. Okay. Nice. There you go. Look at that. He's got his yin and yang shirt. Are you uh, medium or large? Large. All right, here you go. Here's a, here's a large for you, Will Star. Thank you so much, Yin and Greg. yang. Appreciate it. Thank sure. you so much. There you go. That is one pretty picture. <laughs> My buddies. Pretty cool, huh? Yes, sir. We're going to figure out how to fit this in the car. Yes. <laughs>